again. So, friends, thank you very much. If you've watched several of our videos, we thank you for coming back and watching some more. Today's set is going to be going underground, old world style, set six, underground, revisited. Um, I went ahead and I've set up my area today. I'm going to make several maps. Today we're just going to make one, though. I think we're going to just look at one. But what I've done is I've imported some of our new scroll edges, as you can see here. Let me just go ahead so I can... There we go. As you can see here, we've got a new scroll edge. I brought in our traditional scroll edge from sets one through four. And starting in set five, Otherworld, we created two new scroll edges. So I thought it'd be fun. Why don't we go ahead and create some maps with the scroll edges? So let's begin. Now, the nice thing about set six is obviously you can, you're going underground. So say you wanted to do a map just underground, and you wanted to just fill in with black. We will go ahead and, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead, let's see, we can call that black layer. And let's go ahead and do a new tile layer. We're gonna kind of switch back and forth between tile and object layer. So I'm gonna put that above the black layer as well. And let's see where we can go from here. Let's start with an entrance. We're going to zoom in. Because we've split this up into several map areas, I can zoom in. And just start decorating. And you're going to pull in and maybe Maybe this is a room that actually has four large areas. Or you can expand this out. <laughs> and we'll put this down here. And actually, we're going to have several entrance exits out of this room. There we go. that one goes bigger. You can see how quickly I can build Can I do that? I don't want to do that. Let's do this. We'll end this little room right here. Over here, let's see, let's bring this around. And we're going to X. And I think I'm going to go to my object layer now. Instead of the select tile, I'm going to place tile. And I got several little pit areas here. So if I place that, now that looks like it's wandering into the pit. Click off. And let's turn off the grid because that is just annoying today. There we go. It'll still snap to the grid um, in your soldiered layers. Left off. We have turned off the grid just because when mapping with the underground, that's a little bit easier to see. Without the grid on there, we can still turn it on. We can show the grid still. But for a map like this, you just don't need it. So here in between the two clips, all I've done is I've just either added a few more object layers and I've started naming them. In fact, let's go back here. Let's see what this one is. Uh, these are pit underlays. And let's do one more pit. We're going to place a couple more pits. Mm -hmm. Let's place one here. Oh, it's underneath. It's definitely an underleaf. So let's go pit layers up here. And we're going to go up here. I'm going to click because I want to actually right click. And we're going to flip it horizontally. And click off. Now, because of our the way we've drawn our pits, you can actually go in and stack another pit 
right on top and right on top, creating a much greater perspective of depth. And what else we got? I've also got a layer for just for ladders. And instead, in set six, you're just going to have to look around. We've got a lot of little goodies. We've got hanging bridges. We've got scaffolding. I'm just trying to find my ladders. There they are. So I'm going to go ahead and place a ladder. And I'm going to place a ladder up here because I'm going to right click and flip horizontally. Let's go ahead. I'm going to lock these layers now. I'm going to do one more object layer. So right click, new object layer, and we're going to put some crystals. You've also got tracks here. We've got rail cars. We've got a stopping point. Uh, you can see I here I've actually introduced a little winch. And I've placed lanterns around also with some closed doors, some bracing. It's up to you to make your underground as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want. So let's see what we've got here. We're having some fun things. Okay, so I'm going to put some slagmites in. And maybe we got some rubble. A corner. Maybe there's a collapse. This would be an area that a DM could black out and do an overlay with just black. When their players get there, they could maybe clear the debris and find the new tunnel. And let's see. Go back to two. Oh, we've got crystals. So let's place some crystals. And maybe down here we've got the red crystals. And we've got a couple different varieties of them. Oh, and we've also got pit layers. I'm going to go back here. And I've got one little dark hole. Oh. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put it up here. There's the hole that goes to nowhere. Thank you very much for watching. And in our next episode, we'll do another one showing how you can do an overlay using the underground set for above ground. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.